Hey, what's up guys? Hey, so check this out. About a year and a half ago, I picked up this bandsaw and just recently I fixed it up. I dialed it in, I tuned it up, and it's ready to rock. I feel like it's missing something, and what it's missing is a fence. Because I plan on having this thing set up just for resawing. And how are you gonna resaw without a fence? So I did a little online search, and man, those fences are really expensive. The good ones are, you know, three, four hundred bucks. And I'm not really prepared to spend three or four hundred dollars on a fence for this bandsaw. But what I am prepared to do is use a used fence that I have in my shed. So about a year ago, um, I was scanning crazes and a Bismeyer fence popped up for 75 bucks. It's off an old Powermatic table saw, so, but it's a Bismeyer. The sucker was cut down at 18 inch rip capacity. It was used on a table saw that they only used to run dados with. It needs a restoration pretty much the way it sits right here. I'm gonna do that. But the reason why I feel like this Bismeyer fence here, it's heavy duty, is gonna be good for this bandsaw. For one, is that the rails have already been cut. And two, is I have it in stock. With those two right there combined, I feel like this is the perfect candidate to mount on this um, bandsaw. Remember, this table is huge. It's 20 by 24. It's not your regular 12 inch by 12 inch size table that you would see as on a 14 inch bandsaw. Probably weighs 80 pounds or so. If you don't know, um, Bismeyer is like a T-square style fence and it's a really good fence. I want to do it a little bit different. This fence is going to be set up exclusively for the bandsaw. So I'm only gonna have one side that's gonna have new wood. Um, I plan on putting it, I plan on having the fence in this area, inside here like this. So if I get rid of the wood on the left side, that'll give me an extra half of an inch to be able to cut over here. So this is a 20 inch bandsaw, if I didn't mention it. That's four inches wide. So I'll be able to have 16 inches between the fence and the blade. So this video, I'm gonna clean up the rails. I'm gonna repaint them. I'm gonna get it installed here on the fence and check it out and see if I can make a really good rip fence. So this in itself is not in bad shape. This is the original laminate here. The mechanism here has to be cleaned up because it's a little rusty and rough. The cursor is broken, so I'll probably just round that over and use this little bit here and hopefully I could reuse this ruler. I know I could buy a ruler, but I'm probably just gonna reuse it if I could get it off in one piece. Mm -hmm. 